February 29th comes only once every four years, and it's a good reminder for security actions and practices that you shouldn't wait another four years to do. Here's a few of them. First, rotate your compromised credentials. Chances are you've been the victim of a breach involving one or more of your online accounts. And if you haven't done so recently, you can use a dark web scan service to identify all of your known breached accounts and then rotate the passwords that you had for both those accounts and any other accounts where you've reused that password. By the way, if you are reusing passwords, stop doing that right now. Second, enable multi-factor authentication wherever possible. The number of accounts and services that support setting up multi-factor authentication continues to grow every day. In fact, you may have a few accounts where MFA support was only recently added. Take the time to go through all of your accounts that you commonly use and set up multi-factor authentication anywhere and everywhere that it is supported. Third, tidy up your installed applications. If you've had your phone or laptop for longer than a year, chances are you've accumulated a whole lot of applications that you no longer use on a regular basis. Unused applications unnecessarily increase your attack surface, giving attackers additional targets to go after if you fail to keep them up to date with the latest security fixes. You should take the time to go through your device, whether it be your laptop or your tablet or your phone, and uninstall any apps that you haven't used in a while. Most devices even make it easy for you to quickly see that list of unused applications that you need to focus on. Fourth, Update your IoT devices. Windows and Apple make it really easy to keep your laptop, desktops, and mobile phones up to date with the latest security releases on a regular basis. But when's the last time that you updated your doorbell camera or your smart thermostat? Oftentimes, you have to proactively log into IoT devices to look for and install firmware updates, which unfortunately means they can go a long time without updates. Take the time to log into the management interface or open up the management app for your IoT devices and install the latest firmware to keep them safe from cyber attack. 